Good morning from Chandigarh. We are going to Shimla and this is bus stand 43. This is in sector 43. This is where you'll get buses to go to other cities. So we'll have to get a ticket from somewhere there. Okay. Okay. Thank you. There goes my bag, and that is my bus. This is leaving in 20 minutes, so let's check out the inside. This is where we are, and here's a look at our route for Shimla. It's gonna take about four hours, and Shimla is right here. Well, here's another look at the map. Shimla is located at almost 8,000 feet or 2,500 meters above sea level. This red circle is the bus stand in Shimla and that is our destination. Unfortunately, the buildings are in 2D while the rest of the map is in 3D but I hope you get the idea. Welcome to Shimla. That is the bus stand right there. And my hostel is on the other side of that mountain there. Now I had to get a taxi because Uber wasn't available and uh, there's no rickshaws. And you know, the place that I put my bag in, the bus, it's all dusty. So there's nothing else I can do. My hostel is actually on the other side of that mountain so i have to go all the way around that is the main road and my hotel is down this way i think i'll take the stairs next time because this road is way too steep better make sure you have good shoes i'm just trying to find my hostel i find it oh my god look at that I'm going to Mall Road, which is sort of like the city center. So it's about two kilometers from here. I have to catch a bus from the main road there. That is probably somewhere there. This is Mall Road. The Mall Road is one of the main hangout points in Shimla. It was constructed by the British and is located one level below the ridge. The ridge is a very large open space of land in the middle of the city where you can see all the surrounding mountains. This is the Army Training Command Center. Normally you are not allowed to film any military institution but this one is an exception. The entire mall road is about 1.5 kilometers long. And although it might sound like a short distance, it's either uphill or downhill for most of the path. So that's going to take you a while. I am going to go check out this Indian coffee house. The very old place in here. So this Indian coffee house is, is like a very old place. It's been, it's been established in 1957. And uh, yeah, the first Prime Minister of India, Mr. Jawaharlal Nehru, used to come to this place. Like the ambience is still very old style. Oh, 
तो 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 दिस प्लेस इज वेरी फेमस फॉर इट्स कटलेट्स Mutton cutlets are really good, and I've also ordered a masala dosa with some sambar. That is the Indian coffee house, and we have some snow here. Most of the people prefer to walk in uh, Shimla. Like you won't see a lot of like bikes and stuff here. Also, the mall road is only for pedestrians. You won't find any other kind of vehicles here except the emergency ones. One more thing I noticed is you will not see any kind of posters or advertisements on the street. Let's go downstairs and check out all the snow. Now there was a video that I had seen online where a guy with a similar camera as mine was trying to do this, so I thought I would do the same thing with the snow. It definitely took me a couple of tries and it might look a little lame, but anyways, here's the final shot. This place is called the Shimla Ridge down there. And if you take a left from here, that's just going to continue on to Mall Road. The thing you want to be careful about is not walk too close to the edge of the stores. It's because the snow keeps falling from the top sometimes. You can do all your shopping here if you like. Uh, they've got some really good cafes down that way. That right there is where Mall Road almost ends. After a while, I'm gonna turn around and come back to the ridge to watch the sunset. So that flag is where we came from. Shimla used to be the summer capital of British India because it has a very pleasant weather in the summers and that is why you will see a lot of buildings with Victorian architecture here. The city is very well connected by air, roads and rail. Now, if you suffer from altitude sickness, uh, just go to any chemist store. Uh, they'll know what tablets to recommend. Not that I suffer, but I saw somebody ask for some tablets. That's a beautiful sunset. Shimla is surrounded by beautiful natural landscapes and offers excellent opportunities for trekking, camping and any other adventurous activities. The mall road is full of restaurants, hotels and many many other shops. That shop just said that's the first uh, shop to introduce brownies to Shimla. This is the, the topmost point of the ridge. Up there. You can see the sunset. One activity that is free of cost 
and you should definitely do is come up here to the ridge and watch the sunset. That was the end of our mall road tour. I'm gonna go and head back to my hostel because I'm gonna go to Viceroy Lodge tomorrow. So yeah, that's the sunset that we saw. And uh, I'll see you in the morning. Morning, day two in Shimla. That is the All India Radio Shimla building. And uh, our walk is actually down that way, there. You can see here, this is as high as seven floors. I was just gonna go to Weiss Regal Lodge, which is like straight up that way, but it is closed on Mondays. It's one of the best places to be in Shimla. And uh, it's closed on Mondays. Unfortunately, today is a Monday. I can't wait any more days here in Shimla because I have my trip planned. I'm gonna go to Manali next, tomorrow in the morning. So I'm just gonna head to find something to eat, some coffee or something. You might want to be a little careful walking along the edge because the ice can fall down. And uh, we're back to Mall Road again. Yeah. It's about 10 o'clock in the morning and the weather is really beautiful today. There's a chance that you might not find every shop open in the early hours of the morning. But uh, yeah, you can definitely find something to eat here, especially breakfast. That is the way to the ridge. This is all the water from the ice melting on the top. I'm looking for a place to have coffee and uh, maybe something to eat. They got Domino's. Uh, I actually got some. We're off street. That's a fried burger. Oh. Just hoping I don't get lost here. This Chinese and Tibetan food. Mm, let's try that. I'm just done with my breakfast and I'm heading to Shimla railway station to take the toy train. Now the toy train is one activity you should definitely do when you're in Shimla. I'm gonna put that in another video because then this video will be a very very long video but you should definitely try it out. Now Shimla is a smoke free city like you're not allowed to smoke anywhere in public. Also it's a plastic bag free city so do not ask for plastic bags it will it has a fine of like 5000 rupees
that is a Tibetan market down that way and I'm gonna go back up to the mall road so yeah I think that should be it tomorrow morning I'm gonna leave and go to Manali so it's gonna be almost like a eight nine hour journey by bus so I'll see you there bye bye take care